I dodge the issues at hand. So that what circumstances do, circumstances created by the masses, is that we create a government run by the masses, right? The government is to be guided not necessarily by the masses, right? They're supposed to be informed by the masses, right? The government is supposed to be an institution which is a representation of the masses, but the government should not be run by the masses. Mass government can only do one thing, is appeal to its own authority. It becomes inherently dogmatic. And what happens to any government is that there are always going to be threats, right? There's going to be external threats to this government. So one particular example that we might look at now is the threat of like healthcare, right? So healthcare was a big debate a couple of weeks ago. So healthcare is a threat. The abnormal government says, I am not going to address this threat of health care. And the, the people say, the masses, even the masses will say, well, why not? And the government will say, because I said so. Because it's not something that I'm dealing with now. And the people want to know, well, wh what are you going to address, right? We need health care. And what the abnormal government will then do is turn to the mass man, not the masses. Right? So this is now where you have to, you really have to understand the distinction between what Cassette's saying. The masses, the masses are not the same as the mass man. Right? The masses are not the same as the mass man. You cannot confuse the masses with the mass man. They're two totally different things. The masses, as we said, exist in this hierarchy of minority on the bottom, aristocracy on the top, and the masses in the middle. And we are part of the masses. The mass man is not to be understood as the masses. Two totally different concepts. If you don't get that, you're going to totally misunderstand what Gisette is saying. The mass man is different than the masses. So the question then is, well, what is the mass man? He says, the mass man is he whose life lacks any purpose and simply goes drifting along. Consequently, though his possibilities and his power be enormous, he constructs nothing. And it is this type of man who decides in our time. So, the mass man, how do you make sense of this? Um, let me read that one more time. The mass man is he whose life lacks any purpose and simply goes drifting along. Consequently, though his um, possibility and his power be enormous, he constructs nothing. Construct, right? He creates nothing. Now, the mass man typically arises from the masses. So here's the masses. The ma and here's the aristocracy. And outside of the aristocracy and the masses and the minority, is the government, right? The mass man arises out of the masses and he stands atop the government. He's the, uh, as, for lack of a better term, and I'm not trying to conflate it with philosophy because I am a philosopher and I understand what Nietzsche's Uberman, the Superman, means. Uh, it doesn't quite mean this, but it's sort of that idea. It's the man who rises out of the masses to control the world, right? He's, he's, he's you know, as, as a kid, I, I was always fascinated in cartoons by, I want to rule the world! Cobra Commander wanted to rule the world. Um, 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 Pinky and the Brain, um, Brain always wanted to rule. There's always the character of someone wanting to rule the world. The mass man recognizes that he creates nothing. He, there's nothing that he constructs, according to Gassette. But what he's the master of doing, what he has learned how to master, is not the creation of things, right? But he's learned how to give the masses and population as such more choices, right? The more that you have to choose from, the more you have out there to select from, according to the Gazette, is the more you'll realize you can't select everything. The more things that you want to have that you can't have is the more depressed dissatisfied you feel with yourself. 
I wanted to be that thing in life. I wanted to become this figure. I wanted to be like Paris Hilton and, and drive a 120-foot yacht. And, and to, I wanted to have a $45,000 purse like Beyonce. Or I wanted to get the new Continental um, GT uh, uh, Bentley that cost, you know, $500,000. And I can't. And I can't. And I'm not like them. And I wanted to throw a Street 16 party for my daughter that cost $150,000 and buy her a, a freaking $75,000 Beamer, right? And I can't, and I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. The masked man recognizes that the more possibilities there are out there um, is the less likely the mass the masses will be able to attain it. So what he does is, the masked man does, he doesn't create anything. All that he does, all that he does, and this type of man, um, and it is this type of man who decides in our time. It will be well then that we analyze his character. And he's going to analyze the character even further in this chapter and in uh, the subsequent chapter, uh, chapter 6, which I'm not going to do in this video lecture, but in another one. And what we have to recognize, uh, well, I'm going to do it right after this. But what we're recognizing this is that for Gisette, the mass man is not to be understood in terms of the masses. The masked man is a, is, is a paradox, right? There is always a representation of a masked man. He sits outside of all four of these categories. He's no longer, he's not a minority. He's no longer a part of the masses. He's no part of the aristocracy. And he's not even part of the government. He's above even the government. He is the, 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 the pinnacle of authority. Obviously, um, which is amazing, out of this, just to show you how historically um, valid Gesset is, is that he wrote this in 1930. Um, Hitler comes to power within the next decade, and Hitler is the mass man, right? He is one instantiation, just one instantiation of the mass man. The mass man doesn't necessarily have to be as evil as Hitler, but the mass man is usually understood in terms of his corruption, right? So if you think that Gesset is a little hokey or what he's saying isn't really true, Ten years prior to the pinnacle of um, National Socialism, the Nazi Party, Adolf Hitler's power, is this idea of the mass man, and Gesset spells out the very, the very concept of the mass man, which is later actualized in the next decade in the existence of um, Adolf Hitler. Um, what we want to do now, what Gesset wants to do, specifically in understanding the mass man, is you know, he is, he being the mass man, is a product of the masses, right? He is a product of the masses. Um, if we have a mass population, let's say in the 18th century, 18th century, that is lower than a mass population in the 21st century, which is higher, there's more likelihood now that we will have a mass man arise from our population than there was in the 18th century because there's more people here, right? So the more, the greater the population is, the greater the population is, and the actual size of the population, it makes sense to say that the greater the likelihood that individuals will rise out of that to step outside of society, to step outside of government, to gain and arise at a position of such eminence, such power, that according to Gisette, and the footnote that he had in here um, from um, Vermin, um, Herman uh, Valley that, for example, uh, uh, Hawking's, as a scientist, um, could in a good sense be understood as a mass man. Einstein, as a scientist who he cites in this, um, could be understood in a mass man. He steps outside of society. He transcends society that I wouldn't go so far as to say, but it does make sense that the death of these 12 or 15 scientists, the death of, you know, five or six political activists, social figures, can completely change the fabric of our reality, right? There are people who rise to such eminence, such preeminence, such, 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 um, such potential or possibility that their lives change the history, um, change the fabric of history, right? So with the increase of society, the increase in population, you have a greater likelihood that this mass man will arise, right? There's going to be more competition, and just the cream of the crop, the best of the best, will get to the top. Well, how does this, how does this come about? 